फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी विल मूव इन टू नेक्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज स्ट्रक्चर एक्टिविटी रिलेशनशिप ऑफ सम सिंपेथर मेमेटिक एमिन्स ओके सो दिस इज द बेसिक दैट इज अ पेरेंट कंपाउंड ओके दैट इज बीटा फिनाइल इथाइल एमिन ओके इज फिनाइल इथाइल एमिन सो दिस इज पेरेंट कंपाउंड फ्रॉम विच सिंपेथर मेमेटिक ड्रग इज डेराइव्ड ओके दिस इज द पेरेंट कंपाउंड बीटा फिनाइल इथाइल एमिन नाउ इफ देयर विल बी हाइड्रोक्सिलेशन एंड hydroxylation at third and fourth position then this compound will be formed and this particular group okay this particular group is known as catechol ring okay this particular group is known as catechol ring and any compound having this catechol ring will be known as catecholamines clear now addition of this 2 oh will increase polarity of this compound as well as it will make binding with receptor more tightly okay because of this two groups it can bind with receptor more tightly means its potency has been increased that is they are high potency drug clear this 2 oh this due to introduction of this 2 oh binding with the receptor become more tight because of the structure of the receptor okay it will accept this 2 oh we will explain later on now drugs with catechol ring will bind to receptor directly okay and this is the example of norepinephrine epinephrine dopamine as well as isoprotenerol these three drugs are endogenously synthesized synthesized and this is given from outside okay so drugs with catechol ring will bind to receptor directly and these are the example now there are three types of drug that is directly acting drug indirect action and having mixed action drug so directly acting drug means they will directly bind to the receptor okay present to the tissue indirect action that they will enter the nerve ending as it will increase endogenous norepinephrine release okay it will enter the nerve terminal and it causes the release of norepinephrine from here so this is indirect action mixed action means both it can cause increase endogenous norepinephrine secretion and some amount can bind to the receptor also now if this two ways are removed okay if two ways are removed then polarity will decrease then it will become more lipid soluble and its transport inside nerve terminal become more easy the second is it will not fit into the receptor tightly so generally they are indirect acting drugs because direct direct acting drug is directly binding to the receptor okay and removal of this 2 oh group will reduce the drug affinity to its receptor okay so this type of drugs generally act as indirectly acting drugs clear and these are known as non catecholamine because catechol ring is not present here and two most common example is ephedrine and amphetamines ephedrine and amphetamines are the example of non catecholamines clear now generally we don't give catecholamines orally why because they are polar so they will not easily absorb a second the absorbed part which is very small get destroyed by monoamino oxidase and catechol o methyl transferase so oral viability is very less in case of catecholamines non catecholamines can be given orally because it does not attack by catecholamine o methyl transferase okay because non catecholamines have no oh group here and this enzyme this enzyme attack at that oh and replace it with methyl okay so comt is not doing anything to the non non catecholamines also non catecol non catecholamines have absence of these two oh so it becomes more lipid soluble and increase lipid solubility will increase absorbance okay so bioavailability will also increase clear and this will increase its t half now moving to the next we are showing three to four drugs here this is norepinephrine this is epinephrine and this is isoprotenol so norepinephrine has this structure okay i mean is this epinephrine has one more methyl group after this i mean and isoprotenol has this group okay after this amine clear now this is the structure of receptor that is alpha 1 receptor beta 1 receptor and beta 2 receptor and this part which i have said here this part is for the binding of the amino substituted group okay this part is for amino substituted group so here see the here only is amine group here this group here the group is become somewhat larger in comparison to this two both okay this group is very much larger so it can bind here easily because it is giving more surface for amino substituent group to bind this is for amino substituted group okay 
this part of receptor is for amino substituted group so isoproteinol has larger this part so it can bind easily with beta 2 clear now this this has very small bulk this is not a bulky group say this is not a bulky group only amine so it can bind easily to alpha 1 clear easily to beta 1 okay because this is this group is very very small so it can bind easily to alpha 1 easily to beta 1 okay and it can also bind to beta 2 but its effect on beta 2 is very little clear now coming to this trick this is epinephrine okay this group this group can bind easily to your alpha 1 as well as beta 1 and beta 2 so epinephrine has all activity that is alpha 1 beta 1 and beta 2 but isoproteinol has mainly beta 1 and beta 2 activity okay beta 1 and beta 2 and very little alpha 1 because this is not suitable for this group clear so isoproteinol has mainly beta 1 beta 2 activity epinephrine has all the action because it, it is intermediate so it can bind all these three and this is a small it can bind all these three but its effect on beta 2 is not observed very much okay not epinephrine clear now one more drug that is terbutalin okay it has heavier group than this so terbutamine terbutalin can bind more easily to beta 2 and it will it has less affinity for alpha 1 okay so i have shown going here it will decrease infinity and going this way it will increase affinity for the receptors